What's up? This is GP75 Motorsports here, and welcome back to another Skyrim video. Uh, so, yeah. Um, in the last part of Quest for the Crown and my review of the, um, of the, uh, of the Sea of Ghosts mod, we found ourselves at this door, and as you can see, it requires a key. Uh, so I looked up in the creation kit, and... Uh, it actually, it is locked to a level that, you know, it requires a key, but it doesn't have a key. Uh, so, I don't know, I, I, it's just a sense faintly of maybe an unfinished interior or something. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good thing I saved my game from outside the store because this interior may crash my game. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know about going in, but I think it's worth a look, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unlock it. Unlock. There we go. Wait a minute. Didn't unlock it. Ah. Yes, this. It's not unlocking it. Ah. <sighs> that sucks. Ah. Uh, help. Uh, dragon. Uh, location. Dragon guard outpost. Um. Ooh! So it's not even... It's not even in the game yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, that sucks. That really sucks. Uh, as, you, as you can see, the, uh, under the other forms uh, list, you've got... Um, uh, basically four letter, uh, four letter short descriptions, if you will, of what each item in the, uh, of what each item in the list is, uh, and the Dragon Guard barracks would show up as a cell, it would have cell right next to it, uh, so we've only got w one location uh, LCTN, and, uh, that's it, uh, hell, yeah, you know, I'm gonna look up barracks, um, help, help, barracks, yeah. all right, <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, uh, doesn't exist yet. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and give myself however much money I think might have been in there. Um, uh, maybe 300 gold? 300, 400? So... There we go. 300 gold. Uh, so we we're partly reimbursed for it. And you may be asking, if you're a long-time viewer of this series, why I don't just do uh, player dot add item F uh, 50,000 by and just go ahead and buy the title of King of Riverhelm? Well, um. <laughs> It, it wouldn't allow us to do this. I mean, it wouldn't allow us to, you know, quest and do all this interesting stuff that we, that, you know, that we can, that we can do. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's why I choose to go on these quests and uh, try to get this money legit because it's just more fun to do it that way. Um, you know, and it's just, it's... I mean, I could 
like I said, but, you know, it's just, it's not, you don't cheat in Skyrim. You try not to cheat because, obviously, because obviously, you know, you cheat and you bypass a lot of the good stuff. It's only cheat where I absolutely have to, or there's like a glitch blocking my path. Uh, okay, enough uh, philosophical jibber-jabber. There's got to be another island that we haven't visited. I have a feeling that if that interior existed, they would probably have one of the two keys that we're looking for. Argos key uh, or Amar's key. But, this, but the uh, interior doesn't even exist yet, and neither do the keys, so... I guess that part's not quite finished yet. So where is the ship? Where? Oh, there it is. Ah. Uh, so are there any parts that we haven't explored? You know, any, uh, any, uh, I mean, there's got to be another island that we haven't seen yet. I mean, there's, there's just got to be. Um, so I guess we'll have a look at the map. I have a feeling that my review of this mod is winding down, which I really hate because I really enjoy this mod. It's really badass. Uh, so, um, as Yald Island, I think we've been there. Smuggler's Meats, Tower of the Thames, Rocky Shallows. I don't think we've been to Rocky Shallows, uh, so let's go ahead and go there. Let's see what Rocky Shallows is. I think it's going to be that cluster of a band, you know, uh, not necessarily abandoned, but uninhabited tiny islands. Uh, yeah, this looks incredibly familiar. So. I'm I'm just gonna go and have a look just to make absolutely sure. Uh there's if this is where I think it is, then I think there's gonna be a ship somewhere on the border of the island. Or a boat. Yeah, right there. And horkers. Which apparently respawn. Um So yeah, uh if we go straight ahead, then I think that may have been where we encountered that, um, that, uh, that guy that we killed dead. Um, yeah, this is, this is, we've, uh, we've been here before. Holy shit! Look at that mug crab. Okay, never mind. I don't think we've been here before, otherwise we would not have that damn mud crab. Look at the size of that sucker. Look at it! It's huge! I don't want to piss you off. I'm just going to stay well away here. Air of Instant Kill, do not fail me now. Oh, yeah. There's another mud crab following me. I'm not going to pay attention to him. Ancient mud crab, six gold. And uh, mud crab chicken. Kill you. And go ahead and loot this arrow here. These arrows. And where's my other arrow? Hmm. Doesn't matter. Oh, there's one real close in there. No, but there's that thing. I've got the Skymo mod and installed the Skyrim Monsters mod, so um, if you're wondering where that variant sort of mud crab came from, and, as well as this parasite, then that's where it comes from. Um, it's not in, It's obviously not in Vanilla Rim. Vanilla Skyrim, if you haven't had that term before. 
I haven't heard that term. Um, uh, I really oh, I don't want this to be the end of this mod. Uh, uh, this is the same feeling that I got with the end of Moonpath Elsewhere. Uh, I just want to keep going. I mean, this is just such a boss mod. <sighs> Seastone Islands, uh, Secluded Isle. Yeah, we were gonna go there uh, because we wanted to explore the interior of that house. Um, now that I know that there's probably no way um, into the house, I mean, okay, uh, probably no way into the big mansion that I thought we were going to be at. Uh, Tower of Pathams, Rocky Shallows, a Island. Okay, I think that's where I think that's where the house is. The house I want. There's obviously a house on that island as well. But mm, come on, is this it? No. I remember this place kind of. Do I? I must. I don't know. Have we been here? I... I don't know. No, we haven't. Search for clues to how the Ajald were wiped out. More friggin' conspiracies and shit. Oh, that, that was an amazing shot. Oof! <laughs> you surprised me. Okay. So, yeah, this is all sort of new here. Ooh, what is this? You've got the... Okay, this uh, place is definitely abandoned in a very, uh, very... Sudden manner. Almost as if it's like a dragon attack or something, because it really ravaged this place. Whatever it attacked, it really destroyed this. Okay, here's a meat hall, it appears. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So. Villager's corpse, six gold, bone meal. Hate looting things off the long dead, but yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. And eight gold. And do you have anything? Six gold. They're all sorted together. I think. I think maybe if it was a dragon attack, their bones would be all spread out. So I don't know. Uh, this is going to be interesting. What an inviting and warm bed. <laughs> wow. That looks like a very pleasant place to sleep. Look at that frame. And that hay looks super comfortable. And of course the pelt on it. Uh friggin solid with snow so you can't get much more comfortable than that and I tell you what I really love sleeping in a freaking frozen bed that's open to the elements too bad you couldn't actually sleep on it uh, okay what's this um, when you were looking for clues to the disappearance of the Yajald. Uh, I'm going to activate that quest. Uh, no marker. Okay. So this looks like it's going to be a fairly long manual search. Hmm. A chest. wonder what's got in it. 15 gold. Not bad. Cave bear pelt. Cast iron pot. Morker tusk. 
Uh, so it must be a hunter's boat. And another chest. Wow. Thirteen gold. Uh, can I remember the task and tankard? Um, wardrobe? Well, I've already got one of those. <laughs> but fine clothes here? Hmm. Strange. You know, this whole hamlet here sort of reminds me of Dawnstar. This is kind of cool. Uh, what time is it? Oh. I bet you those wolves had something to do with the disappearance of these yald. It would be a yald. wonder that this... I don't know, I'm going to call it a yald. Because... Third is yald... Third a yald lore stone. What is this? We pay no heed to the pantheon of the Empire. We follow the old ways, the true way of the Nords. Revered are the hawk, the wolf, the snake, the moth, the owl, the whale, the bear, the fox, and the dragon. Okay. Cool, I guess. Brazier. Uh, this must have been a lighthouse. Hmm. Gives you a fairly nice view. I don't really like that view there. Ah. Uh, where are those wolves? It would be really nice if I could. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. Uh, detect life. There we go. Oh wow! You just appeared from nowhere. Okay, that that was sudden. Weapons. Ah, uh, frost, come on. You know, the wolves in this game are really stupid. If I went up against a guy who could just go, FUSRO DA! And all of a sudden, I'm flying clear across the continental United States. I wouldn't mess with him. <laughs> I don't think I'd mess with him. Okay, so nothing there, apparently. Uh, oh, a diary. A jawed villager's journal. The creature came out, came out of the mines last night and killed Fiori in her home. I don't know what it is, but a scar, that worthless drunk, says he saw it. That's the... I can't remember how to... How to pronounce that. Like the massacre at Thirsk. Uh, I wouldn't trust a word out of that fool's mouth, but... If that's true, the village is not safe. So the uh must have done it. That's pretty complete destruction. Hmm. Uh, four gold. Okay. Um, any other clues? There's gotta be another clue to these. Uh, check bookshelves. Nothing. Um. <laughs> Barrel. Empty, though. Blacksmith's apron. I wonder, this could have been Fiori. What's that down there? Is that... Is that, uh... No, it's just... It's just, uh... I thought there was something down there because of the way it kind of looked, but it's not. It's just, uh, it's just a hole. Mm. So, is that it? Can't be it. If you have a smelter that's still working. <laughs> that's a dependable... Oh, a door. Oh, we're cooking with fire. We are cooking with fire, ladies and gents. 
Although this may be an unfinished interior. The lighting is a little bit off. Uh, but other than that... Okay, miner's corpse. There's got to be some sort of mob or something. I can almost sense an uh presence around here. Well, this looks suspiciously like sheer drop mine. Makes you wonder if it wasn't just sort of copied. In that case, I hope there aren't any spriggans. Ooh. Damn shame they died because they couldn't mind the shit out of this freaking massive corn to more vein. Oh, uh, yeah, this looks a lot like sheer drop mine. What's that? Corn to more? Hmm. No need right now. Is this it? Seriously, this? Oh, jump down there. Uh, almost, uh, that almost hurt. Was it? There's an object here. I'm pretty sure there was, but... Uh, oh yeah, it must have just been that shovel. Uh, okay. Uber Axle Nova fans on three. One, two, three. Fuck the world! <laughs> I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. <laughs> that was just too easy. Uh, okay, so I guess we can jump over here and down like that. And there's another miner. Oh, he's got his bone meal. I don't know. Uh, is there a way forward or is, it, or is this just a dead end level as well? Almost walked off the edge there. Hmm. That is apparently the way forward, but I'm just gonna go down here to see what's down here. Uh, there. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. There might not be a way back though. I'm gonna try it just to see. Okay, there's not much down here, but it was worth a look. Oh, there's a miner's corpse. With one measly piece of gold. Um, now the question is, how do I get back out? Easily answered, I just kind of do this. Just jump up there, and maybe I can get up here. Yep. Hop. Hmm, maybe from up here. This is, yeah, there's a roof there. So, yep, like that, and like that, and I have to admit, this platforming on this really isn't easy. This, uh, okay, there we go, up there. Uh, no, come on. Up, up, jump. <sighs> okay, up, up. Who <sighs> that almost killed me? That was close. Okay, so this little bastard here. <sighs> okay, there we go. Got that. And then jump up there and. Uh, to the way forward. Hopefully not out. Damn. How did he die here? Makes you wonder. Maybe he froze to death. Friggin' uh... Ice raid. Uh, can I get it? I hate these damn things. They're so hard to hit. I mean, there's just nothing. Okay, so, at the very least, oh, pissed off his friend. Uh, 
Okay, good. So, there's my other arrow. And loot you. Nothing. Loot you. Nothing. Um. <laughs> I keep going forward. And. Oh, here we go. Um. This is a pretty good, uh, pretty good dungeon. Kind of like this. Oh, what is this grand sight? Kill the oo! Ooh, yay! I get to kill the oo! Oo, die! <laughs> that was it. What a lame quest! Seriously, that's just completely lame. Ooh. That's it. There's all the warrior corpses. A yard, I mean. Uh, and the chest with 131 gold. And a uh, hunting bow draining and some other stuff that I don't really need. Uh, yeah. I think Karja would like that. But, he's already got a, he's already got a bow. Also, where in the world is Karjo? I mean, is he going back to elsewhere? Must have, because I haven't seen him in forever. Hmm. I'm looking for the easy way out. Doesn't appear as if there is one. Hmm. Is that where we... From whence we came? Could be. Uh, looks like there may... Yeah, there looks like a way around here. Jump up onto there. Yeah. That's definitely a way around. There. Jump. And, uh... The way... Back out to Skyrim... Yep, back to his old island through that narrow pass. A yold island. I keep mispronouncing it. <sighs> Alas, I think that may have been the climactic battle of the whole mod thus far. <sighs> Man, I really hate for that to be it. And we made a loss as well. We lost over a thousand we lost over four thousand four thousand gold so we suffered a major setback to our uh, to our ambitions hmm well oh fuck I've got to be more aware I'm glad that didn't do me in further Nothing of war, nothing of value on you. But if it's the last thing we do in this mod, and I have a very bad feeling that it will be, we are going to check that house out. I mean, we've done everything in our power to get to get the key, and it. So far, it just doesn't exist yet, so makes you wonder, maybe, if, you know, they got the interior of the house, so it's just not, you know, they just haven't gone around to hang the keys in yet, uh, which could be, you know, which is, uh, which is understandable. I mean, you definitely want to, you know, add in, yep, Carjo, why on earth did you not come with me? Uh, maybe the area just isn't half mesh yet. Mm, Carjo, over here. Yeah, you're on against that barrel. Never mind. 
What else could I expect? Oh! <laughs> I can't believe I forgot this. We have forgotten the... We've gone, what? Six parts of this mod now, and we forgot to check out the deck of the ship, the lower deck, I think. I think we've forgotten to. Ooh. Yeah, this is quite nice. I mean, it's small, but it's nice. The sound effects are all sorts of weird, though. Winter's warmth cabin key. Hmm. Uh, so, where might I ask is the cabin? Weapon rack? For us to store, like, a billionth of all the stuff that we get in this mod. Chair with, uh... And a table, and crew handbook, children of the sky, words of clan mother, Anisi, and the wolf queen, volume three, and uh, the rise and fall of the blades. Hmm. This is this is uh, this is nice. I uh, I'm definitely a big sort of a uh, big fan of. You know, small, homely player spaces, and this is definitely one of them. Uh, you know, not a homely, because homely is just a nicer word for ugly, but homey player spaces that make you feel sort of at home. And that, uh, that definitely does. So that was quite nice. Uh, Carjo, can you move from the doorway? That's one minor annoyance with this ship, is that that doorway is pretty much a choke point. If somebody stands and decides to block it, you can't get out. So, I have a feeling that may have actually been the cabin, so... Hmm. But here's where we'll spend most of our time anyway. Wait, hold on. Let me just check. Winter's Warmth Cabin Key. Okay, so just judging by the reference IDs, the, sh uh, the uh, ship's cabin exists. So I'm gonna make sure that that's not a, just another word for the lower deck. Um... So, yeah, basically is because the door is the activator, and the activator leads into the cell. Okay. Uh, so... Where were we going to... Seastone Islands, I think it was? To check out the, inter the interior of that house? Uh, yeah. Here we go. This is definitely it. Real men jump down. They don't use a ramp. Hello, sir. Mm, straight ahead. Wealth beyond measure. Thank you. Also, Sirrah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Sirrah. Uh... Do you, by any chance, have a town named Dinnerum near you? Because I think you may. And if what I hear is correct, it's not exactly a pleasant place to be. I mean, what with recent dragon tax and everything. Okay, so Seastone Manor. I'm going to unlock that. Okay, good, so, um, I'm going to save my game, because unfinished interiors may crash it. 
Uh, so, here we go. Oh. Oh! Holy cow, this is pimping. Wow. I could, I could almost, I could almost just, <laughs> just, just, Screw River Elm, this is my place now. Uh, but I can't because I don't know what River Elm's going to be like. It's probably going to be more badass than this. Is that Carjo? It was a chair. Oh. You know what I'm thinking of right now? There needs to be a chandelier right there. And, uh... Maybe... Yeah, there definitely needs to be a chandelier right there. A couple of dwarves maybe over in that corner selling stuff pointlessly. Uh, and above all, there needs to be a very pretty elf just sort of roaming around. Yes, that is a Dragon Age 2 reference. I can remember just standing here. Handprints. Has someone been swinging on the chandelier? Meryl. <laughs> yes, because I did romance Meryl in that. Because she's just such a badass character. I mean, you know she is. And what on earth fine raiment? Gloves, hat, fine boots. This is definitely awesome. And to think, I, I start out as a prisoner. And now I've got all this. I've, uh, I've accomplished quite a bit. Um, I'm going to take the fine raiment, and the gloves, and the hat, and the fine boots, and I'm going to put them all out and give a shit that I'm over-encumbered. Because you really need to walk around this place anyway. Fine raiment, foot wraps, uh, foot wraps. No, no, no. This hat. Uh, fine boots. And yeah, I'm pretty bitching. Oh, gotta put my, gotta put on my gloves. Although that hat does get rid of my horns, um, so I'm going to get rid of it. There we go. I am officially bitching. Yeah, look at me. Also, is that chainmail really sort of looks like chainmail on his shoulders? Hmm. Yep. Garjo. Come here. Kajit got your back. Uh, I need you to. I need to trade some things with you. So I'm gonna put on my stuff. Um. Equip. 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 And uh. This stuff, excuse me. Give you the hat, the uh, the gloves, the fine raiment, and what else? Fine boots. Yeah, those. And there we go. I'm no longer encumbered. Wardrobe. What have I got in this wardrobe? Shoes, shoes, and commoner clothes. Okay, so like if I just want to go out in the town and not really, uh, not really, you know, not really be noticeable. It's kind of cool. What have I got in here? A fork? Why? Uh, five gold, and we're going to take that. And we walking the world. Volume 11. 
And is that it? Damn it! I wish there, I wish Meryl was here. Somebody's gotta make a friggin' Meryl mod for Skyrim. I mean, they have got to make a Meryl mod for Skyrim because she was just such a badass character in uh in in Dragon Age 2. I mean, she was in uh, Dragon Age Origins as well, but you know, uh, she didn't look anywhere near as cool. I mean, she was just gorgeous in Dragon Age uh, Dragon Age 2. But, Ooh, there's more. Um, but yeah, yeah, somebody's gonna make a Meryl mod. What is all this? Holy cow! Wow. <laughs> This is almost on Castle Darkoon levels. Almost. Got a nice planter here with a uh, harvestable fly amanita and uh, mountain flower. And probably some other things. Oh, all of the shrines for the for the divines. I'm gonna count these. Are you an eight or are you a nine or one, two? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You. I don't know. I'm a, I must have miscounted. Yep, nine. <laughs> Good on you. That's all I can say. Because, I mean, there's a lot of debate. Amongst players, you know, eight, eight divines or nine divines, and personally, I'm a niner. Uh, but you can discuss that in the comments. Eight or nine, go at it. Uh, anyway, so um, this video is officially 42 minutes long, <laughs> so I'm gonna end it off here, and uh, and uh, I'm going to the the next part is. Uh, basically just going to be our return journey to regular Skyrim. I hate it. I really hate it, but, you know, as much as I'd like to stay, I've got to go back. Duties in Riverhelm, man. Duties in Riverhelm. They suck. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, feel free to leave a like, comment, uh, favorite, subscribe. Uh, and if you like the mod, if you think you'd like the mod, then go ahead and, uh, then go ahead and give it a download and, and an endorsement on Skyrim Nexus. And, uh, link will be in the description below. Uh, it'll be called, uh, Sea of Ghosts mod. Uh, so yeah, uh, feel free to like and, uh, and, uh, and endorse, I mean, endorse it. And vote for it, especially vote for it, if you liked it, so that it can become a uh, featured mod. So, uh, yeah, GP75, out.